Hey, good afternoon. It's Jim from jagfx.com. It is Wednesday, the 29th of April, 2020. It's currently 4.58 p.m. here local time in Da Nang, Vietnam. This is a look at my 12-hour high probability chance. The new 12-hour candle was approximately one hour ago at 4 p.m. took a little while to get through everything, so we'll just go through what I've done. On the right here, this is um, trading view. This is my watch list of all the trades, all the pairs I'm trading on the 12 hour charts. Ones in blue are the ones I've currently got trades on. Ones in orange are the ones I'm going to highlight, and orange are the ones I'm going to discuss in this video. And without any highlight, no open trades, it's only the one. So we'll start with the Euro USD. Uh, in a, I was in a buy down here. It was a high risk trade. You can read my notes on the right here. Buy trades are designated by the blue vertical dash line and the solid blue horizontal line. So it's in that area there. You can pause the video, read my notes. Uh, like I said, it's a high risk trade. The green lines, uh, trend lines represent regular bullish divergence into the trend. Now we've got US interest rate news at about 1 a.m. in the morning. So it's not that far away. So it's the MACD Platinum, which is this bottom oscillator, which is just a zero lag MACD, went through the zero level now, or at the zero level in that last bullish candle. So I've decided to close half and put my stop in place just below the entry there, which is that red dotted line. So I've closed half and new stop in place at 108.061. That gave me a massive profit of $6.41, which has been added to the profit to date. So I'm just protecting my position here. Following my rules, it's not a big profit, but sometimes it's a, it's a high risk trade to start with and we've got big news tonight, so not worth the risk, protect the position. I'll do the New Zealand USD trade first, a little bit easier than that. All right, I've got a couple of sequences here. You can follow my notes again. S1 is when I have an S1 or S2 on a line, that means the commencement of a sequence. So in this case, S1, Sequence one up here started there, so it's basically a cell. Cells are designated by red vertical lines and the solid red horizontal line. So we have basically have a cell hedge by second cell, a second by uh, second hedge. Sorry, hedge by second cell, second hedge by third cell and we've had a third hedge buy. So that's on this first sequence. Now, this second sequence started on this blue one here. So there's two trades taken on that same candle. It's similar to the Euro USD. It was a high risk trade. Um, I thought I'd get a few pips. I did, not a great deal. MACD platinum through the zero level, so I have to protect this second sequence. So I've closed half and put a stop in place just below my entry level at 60483. Again, it's a USD pair. Got the USD federal rate tonight. And that made a massive total of $5.05. And I'm pretty sure that's been added to there too. So that's all good. Now we'll go to the dog's breakfast, the New Zealand Swiss franc. You can probably hear the vendor in the background. Now I've tidied this up a little bit. Uh, we've got currently got four sequences going. Sequence two, this one here. It used to be sequence three, it's now sequence two. This is the notes for it in here. Now, here's my original sequence. Sequence one is this big from this buy here. So it starts there, and you can assume every trade's a part of that. Sequence two starts here. Now, that did include all these trades up here. But I've just, the overall break in for that was in this area where price is now, or just a, a below it. So basically, I closed all the trades in sequence two, except for the last buy, which was a 0 0.26 buy, as you can see here, the fifth buy. So I closed first buy, hedge sell, second buy, second hedge sell, etc. Fifth buy, Closed 0 0.24, put a stop in place 58292. So there's a stop down here, just below the entry level. It's the same stop as on sequence four. 
which started here, it's got to stop on, on the same level. So sequence two, sequence four, and just two standalone trades now. And the only other one's this one. And sequence three, which is a sell, it's hedged at the moment. So waiting for a new sell on that. Overall break in is this, for all trades, is this bottom yellow line. It moved up a little bit. Um, when you look at I've, all these trades I take and keep, a recorded on the shared spreadsheet. There's a link to that shared spreadsheet in the description to the video. However, just keep in mind there is a bit of a, it's a new spreadsheet. We're still finding little problems with it. So there's a bit of a glitch in the matrix on this pair. And it's showing me a huge loss. So don't be too concerned. We'll get that fixed hopefully in the next day or so. So ignore the loss, ridiculous amount, <laughs> 3,000 something. It's not, that's not the case. I did take a huge profit closing all those trades on that sequence two of $8.70. Now that's all right because I've still got a dangling 0 0.02 on in play and I've added that to my profit to date. So instead of, I think the spreadsheet shows a profit to date on this is minus 3,253, where it is actually a profit to date of 101.24 is marked down here. So we've cleared a few trades. We're getting there slowly. On the, this has been my bit of a bugbear on the twelve-hour charts, but we're, the the process seems to be working, and we're getting there slowly but surely. And hopefully, we'll clear it at break even or better. Even if I have to take, use some of this profit to clear these trades, nah, I won't do that. <laughs> so that's the New Zealand Swiss. So that's it, guys. Um, there wasn't anything this morning, hence there was no video. Um, so hopefully, that makes sense to you. Like I said. Just pause the video, read my notes, or go into my, go into my YouTube channel. There's a couple of videos on hedging. Just um, search hedging. You'll see at least two I know of. And a lot of these 12-hour um, videos have got a lot of hedging in there. It's a, it's a method I'm trying, and it seems to be working out all right as we slowly get some profit. The markets have been pretty quiet in the last few couple of weeks, but we're getting there. All right, thanks for watching. If you do like the videos, please hit the subscribe button. If nothing else, hit the like button, and I will chat maybe at about 4 a.m., 5 a.m. tomorrow morning if we've got some action. Cheers.